I work as a librarian instructor. I explain you later what I do. For, so now briefly about Belgrade City Library. As you can see, uh, our annual budget is around four and five million uh, euros. And the, the bad thing of that is that 80% goes to the salary. So only 20% of our annual budget goes to collection development and or for buying the new technologies. Uh, I'm sorry, buying the technical equipment and stuff like that. Here's our central library building. And in 2010, we ma managed to hit a record. We had 11% of Belgrade population as a library users, which is high percentage for Serbian libraries. It's uh, around 6% in other libraries. And we also managed to uh, find some funds and to renovate some of our branches. Oh, this is the pain painful slide. And this is the age structure in Belgrade City Library. As you can see, the majority of population is over 50, yeah, over 50 years old. So it's somehow hard to navigate the development with that kind of age structure. And on the left side, there's a young professional. He's very fast and furious, very adaptive to road changes. Uh, in other words, very adaptive to changes in work environment. And on the other side, we have old professional who's state of the art. He's very well designed, but his ma main goal is to get you from point A to point B. And that's uh, just okay. And uh, they uh, know they have a vast of knowledge, but the knowledge stopped at one point. So we, as young professionals, we know we, we are familiar with no sources of knowledge and on information, and we have to show them how to how to use it. We stay informed through RSS feed, mailing lists. Uh, are usually there's a many sessions in Iflan ALA, so you can subscribe if you are not already. And I showed showed those mailing lists to my colleagues, to my older colleagues, and some of them get got hooked, especially the reference librarians. And the LinkedIn is also a great network for professional communication and improving their skills. Uh, what we do, when I say we, that's me and my colleague. We, the young professionals, we, start, we started this in education. Uh, that, that's related to our uh, library colleagues. We educate them through, because we have a huge library network with 70 branches, and it's, sometimes it's hard to get all the people at the same place. So we use commercial software for webinars and manage to teach librarians in branches how to use, for example, ILS, because we have different structure of integrated library software. So it, it's, it's, it's in-house made, and it's really flexible, so I can make changes, and I can show them how to do cataloging and stuff like that. Uh, virtual reference, we're using question point uh, OCLC product for virtual reference, and that that's kind of cool because all the old school reference librarian has have a vast of knowledge. I mean, just switch them to the virtual environment. Just show them the basically that virtual reference is almost like email usage. So they got pretty much hooked on. Uh, with QR codes, we, we are promote, this is the logo for uh, question point reference service. Mm -hmm. And with QR codes, when, first, when I firstly introduced QR codes to my colleagues two years ago, they were like, okay, what's that? You will not stick that around our library. But when I show them what kind of information they can put in those codes, and that they connect, that the codes are connecting the virtual and physical world, they were thrilled. So now we have like, uh, <laughs> so, now, so now we have like most uh, most wanted books, links to the publisher website where they can find the information about those titles. This is the web page of our Moodle, Moodle platform, which is used for uh, education in for digitization. And these are QR codes on shelves. These 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 hold quotations about from some famous authors. And yeah, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> and,